All right. Guys, well, welcome and thank you very much for your time today. I'm going to stick on a timer because I'm going to try and keep this really um, brief. I've got my little stopwatch on. Okay, awesome. So today the topic is sorting your socials like a pro, hosted by me, Joe Burgess. Okay, so who am I? For those of you that haven't met me, um, my name is Joe Burgess and I am a hairdresser by trade. So I know exactly what it's like to be on the floor. I've also been a salon owner. I have had two hairdressing salons here in Brisbane. And that was where I was lucky enough to stumble across a couple of entrepreneurial developers and became a co-founder here at Shortcut Software. So that was 25 years ago, which is super scary to actually say out loud because it's more than half my life, um, but I've loved it. I love the hairdressing industry. <clears throat> I loved having my salons and building a team. And I obviously love um, being part of Shortcuts. So what I do here at Shortcuts these days is um, manage the roadmap, which is all of the things that we decide to develop in our software. So I get to work with um, key customers, our team around the world, strategic partners like Google um, and you know Twilio and you know SendGrid and a lot of our partners that we bring in to provide um, solutions for salons. I also look a lot at the rest of the, you know, what's happening in other industries and how we can bring that technology into shortcuts and into salon, into the salon space. So I love what I do. It's a very fancy title, BP of Evolution, but it basically is taking ideas and, and getting them out into the market. So I love talking to you guys. If you've got ideas, you can definitely hit me up on social media because I love to hear about it. I am a marketer at heart and I think that's why I really got involved with shortcuts in the very first place because I wanted software for my salon so that I could market to my customers because that was in the early 90s guys and I was um, doing mail mergers and all that sort of fun stuff but um, yeah I basically grew up, I've grown up as a bit of a marketer and I adore digital channels. I love the scalability and how you can you know you can reach um, customers you know outside of your local community and or who's walking past your salon using digital challenge um, digital channels, which is obviously why I love social so much. And those of you that have met me or worked with me know that I'm pretty organized, bordering on OCD. The guys here get pretty um, frustrated with how, how organized and structures I like things to be. But I love combining a good strategy with a structure to be able to execute it. And that's really the focus of what I want to talk about today um, with the content that we're going to go through is I want to help you guys to put some structure to your social media strategy so that you get the results that you need um, and you get your followers to turn into bookings um, and it doesn't take you, you know, a million hours every month to be able to do that. I'm also a bit of an ideas gal and I've come up with a new idea that I'm busting to tell you about, but it's a few slides in um, and a serial entrepreneur. So that's just a little bit about me. So very pleased to meet you all. What do I know about social media? Well, I know that it's a critical tool in a salon's marketing mix. I mean, we cannot ignore it. Um, and in a minute, I'm going to share with you some survey results um, that I did to validate some of my assumptions that I had around salons and, and how they're managing their social media. I know that it takes a lot of time and effort. <laughs> I know that you guys find it hard to keep consistency on your channels. Um, you know, you salon owners tell me all the time that they, you know, they they focus on it for a while and they do posts every day and it goes really good and then, you know, run out of steam or can't think about what to post um, and things drop off. So it needs to be consistent and that is hard. Um, it, you, there also needs to be a strategy to it. It's, you know, you can't be thinking one minute before you're going to post, what are you going to post about today? Um, there needs to be some structure and a strategy and we're going to talk about that today. Um, coming up with content ideas is also really hard. Obviously, you guys have a beautiful library of content when you're doing work in the salons, um, which is great, and you should absolutely be doing that. But outside of that, it's a little bit of a struggle because it's not natural or native to you guys. Um, and I think that there's a lot to learn. 
and things change a lot with social media. And I'm a big believer of taking small steps and not trying to bite off more than you can chew all at once to start to change your strategy around. So that is what we're going to cover today is just some very small things that you can do that will have a big impact. I could talk to you for weeks and weeks and weeks about your social media strategy. Um, and I'll share a little bit about how we can continue this journey together, um, learning all the things. And big fat disclaimer, I'm not a social media expert. I don't profess to be one, um, but I will bring in experts to provide me with the information that I need so that I can share it with you. All right. So I did a survey. You guys may have completed the survey and it was really interesting. Um, about 400 people completed this survey. So I got a really good, um, really good response rate, which gives me some really good ideas around trends. And it was pretty interesting. So overall, salons are not really loving their relationship with social media. So that was one of the questions, um, you know, there, you know, there's some are, so 45% are, but most people are, you know, are not really all over it. So the relationship is not as good as it could be. I also found out that you guys as, as owners and your team are doing most of the posting. So you don't have a social media manager and you're not using agencies. And I've got a theory around that. And maybe you can let me know if there's a reason. Maybe you've tried it in the past. It cost you a lot of money. You didn't necessarily get the results that you wanted. Um, and and it's difficult for somebody to understand your brand and what you're all about. So I've got to, you know, that's my feelings as to why most people are doing their own social media. Um, also spending a fair bit of time. So, you know, at least an hour or so a day or a couple of hours a week. So, you know, 86% of you are spending more than an more than a couple of hours a week on your social media. That's a lot of time and that's valuable. That's costing you money to be not on the chair or, or it's costing you time away from your family if you're doing it in the evenings. So it's taking a fair bit of time. And when we asked the question, are you getting value for your time spent? Most people said no idea or not really. So we're not loving our relationship. We're doing all the posting ourselves. It's taking us a fair fair bit of time and we're not really sure if we're getting any value out of it right so I think we can fix that um, and some of the biggest struggles and be interesting for you to tell me if these are some of yours is finding it hard to keep consistent was the number one struggle so this was the question I asked was if you had a magic wand um, you know what would you what would you need fixing about your social media and they were these are some of the biggest responses so getting some engagement, but not enough bookings, struggling to come up with ideas for posts, too busy to post, don't have a strategy, not being found, um, we don't know how to schedule our posts, um, and no one comments. So we put in all the work and all the comments. So maybe some of that sounds familiar to you. Let me know. Okay, so would you like to get your socials sorted? I hope the answer is yes. Let me see whether any of you are commenting in here. Okay, cool. Yes, so I'm assuming the answer to this is yes. And would you like a foolproof structure that you could follow so that you didn't have to think about what you had to post tomorrow or the next day? If the answer to those two questions is yes, then you are in the right place. Let's get this party started. All right, so today I'm going to cover off three really simple, basic strategies. And I want you to pretend that we're starting back at the beginning as if we're looking at, I'm focusing on Instagram today, but your social media in general with fresh eyes. And you really need to do that quite often with social media because when you set it up six months ago, a year ago, two years ago, um, things have changed, things have been added and maybe you're not getting, maybe you don't have all of the elements in place for a really strong strategy. So we're gonna go through some things that will um, refresh your Instagram profile. We're gonna check out your audience and who is engaging with you and when are they engaging. And then we're gonna to start to build a structure and a strategy for creating a variety of content um, that is good. All right, so first of all, you. So in this section, I wanna talk about you and your salon's brand. So let's have a look at Instagram and make sure we've got it set up right and it is a, it is a true reflection of you and what you stand for. So 
you've probably already got a business profile. I'm, I'm going to assume, right, based on my survey, most people said that they do have a business profile. If you don't, you definitely need to be um, setting your profile to business. And there are a bunch of benefits to doing that. The main ones are you'll get access to the analytics that we're going to have a look at in a minute around um, specific data, um, from your followers and your posts. So that is very, very important. It also makes it easier for your followers to get in touch with you because you've got call and email buttons, which we're gonna go through and make sure you've got those set up right. Um, and you've also got the ability to turn your posts into ads when you're ready to boost them and expand your reach and um, attract new followers to find out about you. So um, I'll talk a little bit down the track about how we can get you to that point. That sort of sounds a bit scary to be spending money on ads that aren't, con aren't converting natively, but we're going to help you with all of that. Okay, so to check if your account is ready for business, we've got three steps up on the screen here. One, you need to go into your Instagram profile and click edit profile. Then you need to click switch to professional and choose business, unless you are an influencer. Um, if it's a business and you guys are salon owners, you are wanting people to connect with you as a bricks and mortar business. So you need to select that. Then you need to continue through the questions and make sure you choose your category. So if you're a hair salon, you need to choose hair salon. If you're a beauty salon, you need to choose beauty salon. If you're a nail salon, nail salon, barbershop, etc. right? This will help you in your search um, when people are searching for hair salon in your area on Instagram. And let me tell you, they do. Instagram is a search engine. Um, you must make sure that you've got the appropriate category there because your name may not have anything in it that relates to what they're searching on. So category is very, very important. Also, please review all of your contact information. So that's the image there, number five. Make sure you've got an email, make sure you've got a phone number and make sure you've got your address in there and add them as action buttons so that on the profile, you'll have the call and the enable buttons um, there so that when somebody sees something or reads something on your post and they want to connect with you, it is just one simple touch to be able to get in contact. You'll obviously also have message, which is for your DMs, which we'll talk about in a minute, which is also very, very important. So they're just the absolute basics that you need to go back and do. It will take you less than five minutes and it will help you uh, make sure that you're being found on Instagram when people are looking for what you've got. Okay, next, have another, have a look at your bio <clears throat> and it might be time to update it. Does it portray your salon's brand properly? Does it clearly articulate who you are and describe what you do, the types of services that you do? And does it give you people a way to get in touch? So you can see there you've got the um, link to your website. I would recommend that you put your online booking link in there because you actually want them just to go straight to making a booking. <clears throat> and you can use a bit.ly link if you know if you just search up bit.ly link or Google link, you can get a little short one that you can pop in there. Um, so spend another five or 10 minutes and update your bio. It needs to be snappy. It needs to show off your talents. So you don't want it to be too long, um, but you want to tell your followers what to do next, okay? So it could be as simple as, you know, change your look, book online today is the call to action at the end, okay? So go back in and have a little look at your bio. All right, the next thing I want to talk about to make sure you're ready for business is to reply. So you must allocate time every single day to reply, to like everybody that um, comments on your posts and reply to them. Okay, and reply to every single direct message. And as soon as as soon as soon possible afterwards is the best. So generally when you post, um, Instagram will serve your image in the feed. If it gets comments and likes, um, it will get seen to more people. And if you're replying to those comments, that will boost it up as well. So we're going to have a look in a minute about when's the best time for you guys to be posting. Um, but you should certainly allocate a bit of time straight after the post to make sure that when people do jump on and like and comment that you are there um, and engaging with them. It's also great if people like your page that you make sure that you go and like their page or go and like some of their things that they um, have posted on their page. So maybe some of their pictures, it just improves that level of engagement. Now you can do that yourself or you can even outsource that. We have um, 
in another business that we do, we've got had a VA that you can hire a VA online for three or four US dollars to do your engaging on social media for you, which is something that's um, definitely worth considering. And I wanted to give you this quick little tip. If you get a lot of DMs with people wanting to make bookings, right? And they can go backwards and forwards and you're trying to find a time and they're trying to check their diary and you're busy and they're busy, etc. Um, you can set up quick replies so that if it is an inquiry about making a booking, you've got a canned response that you can just quickly type in one word, like the word booking there, which brings up your, hey, thanks for reaching out, best way is to head to this link to make an online booking. It's a much better response for the customer because they just want to do that straight away anyway. They don't want to go backwards and forwards. Um, and it obviously saves you a lot of time. So if you get um, a bunch of standard type questions coming through your DMs, then you can pop those in. Might, might be, um, you know, where do, where's the best place to park? That's a great one. So have an automatic reply set up for that when someone wants to book, um, you know, who's the best person to book with, with certain colors or, or what have you, whatever it might be. So have a think about it. And then you're not having to think of the words and make typos when you're replying back, um, you know, in the heat of the moment when you're trying to do it quickly. Um, might also be promos. If you've got promos happening on your Instagram, you might want to have um, a quick reply there that tells people how to get it or what to do. Um, gift cards is another great one. Um, we're launching a feature shortly at Shortcuts um, for online gift cards. So if people are wanting to buy gift cards, you could direct them straight to your website to buy them online, which will be amazing. Okay, so if you go through those three steps, then you've you've basically got your business, your profile is set up correctly, your bio is looking good, and you're replying to anybody that is engaging. Bare, bare basics, okay? All right, so next we want to find out who it is, who is your audience, um, you know, what is their age, what is their gender, what is their time online, um, and as the more specific you can get, the better. So this is how we find out. Um, someone said to me the other day, one of the most in, um, we always know the saying, who, what, when, <laughs> where, and how, and there's a reason why who comes first, right? This is one of the most important tools that you can arm yourself with when it comes to social media, knowing your audience. Okay, so let's have a look at how we do that. So inside Instagram, you click on the little hamburger icon in your top right hand corner and it'll slide across and show you the menu. You should definitely check out all the things in here because this changes often. Instagram are changing and adding new things all the time. Um, but today we're going to talk about insights. So you'll click on insights, you will then click on uh, activity and you want to come through and see where uh, where's your audience coming from then probably mostly likely local to you. What is the age range? It might surprise you, the age range of people that are following you on Instagram versus what you think the average age range is for um, the customers that visit your salon, the gender, um, and you've, the followers. So when in the day from 12 a.m. through till 10 p.m. at night, when are they most engaged with you? And you can flick through, that's showing on that screenshot there Thursday, but you can flick through, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and find out the days and even down to the hours, if you see the little hours, um, oh, sorry, the days, and the, you can go look by days or you can look by hour on a day, which is what we're doing right now. So have a little flick around in this area because the reason why I really want you to know who you're talking to is it will help you when producing your social media content. It will help you with um, creating captions and deciding on images to present once you know this information. Okay. Cool, that's all I wanted to say about that. All right, so now um, is the how. So once we've clearly defined ourselves and we've set that up and we've worked out who it is we're actually talking to, it's time to structure your content so that you know how to give people what they want. Um, and I'm a huge fan of systems and having one for your social media content is critical. So the best way to do that Actually, before I get to that, I hear this a lot and I'm wondering if this sounds familiar from you. So this comes out of my survey as well. It's hard to find time to post. I struggle to stay consistent. 
I don't know what I should be posting. I don't know how to plan. I can't think of captions or take a great photo and I can't afford a social media manager, right? That is really, really common. And because salons don't really know what to post, what happens is we end up seeing image after image of hair, which of course is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not saying for a second that you guys should not be posting your beautiful before and afters, let's face it, we all love to see that. But sharing your work that you do um, in social media if those hair pics are all you're posting, then that can become a little same same. And what happens is your audience has seen it, so they scroll on by. So if you're you're posting beautiful balayage with lovely wavy hair and you're posting that all the time, they are gorgeous images and they look amazing. But if I've seen your feed and I've seen, you know, what looks like almost the same person with the same hair time after time, it gets a little same, same. It gets a little boring and people don't engage. They start off engaging when you first start posting those things and then it drops off. So salons are typically not bringing variety to their social feeds, which we know is important for that scroll stopping um, engagement. Okay. So the way to do that is to put some structure around your content. And you can do this by what we call content pillars. So you can create a framework and a structure to your social media strategy that ensures that you post a variety to keep everybody interested. And I really love this um, quote from Gary, um, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, I think his name is. Um, he says, jab, 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 right hook. And what he means by that is you deliver value more value, more value, engagement, and then you ask for the sale, which is the booking, right? Or to buy a gift, um, buy a gift card or to come in and buy a product. So a good way to do that is to pick five or six of these content pillars. So I put together a few examples for you that I think are quite um, real applicable to the salon industry. And I would recommend that you pick five or six of these and start to create content that is cycling through these things okay so let's talk through each of them so personal insights this caption is about you people love hearing stories they love they want to get to know you they want to know how you got to be successful and that you have the salon that you have today and how you built your team and what fails you had along the way and what triumphs you've had and what lights you up every single day and the more authentic that you are um, the more interested they will be in following and engaging with you. And this is where you share some of your life's lessons and your deepest, darkest secrets or your guilty pleasures like having champagne. Um, and your followers will get to know you. And I bet that if you went back and had a look at those insights that we were looking at from your audience and you looked at some of your most engaged posts, any time where you've ever talked about yourself or shared something personal has probably got a lot of likes. The next one is your why. So it's what motivates you to get out of bed every day. Why are you in business to do what you do? What are your inner motivators? Why do you do what you do? Okay, so it's a slightly different level to personal insights. Um, showcase your team. When was the last time you lifted the veil on the fabulous people that work in your salon um, and introduce them, who they are, what they do, spotlight their story, share some random facts about them. People love random facts. Um, so that would be one I would definitely add to one of your content pillars. Tutorials, how to's, trade secrets, um, you know, informing or teaching your audience how to do something. People love that. Inspirational and motivational, just compelling quotes um, that inspire people. Maybe it's even funny, <laughs> bring some humor um, into some of the quotes and things that you, um, you, you put on your posts. Um, focus on products and services. So this is a sale type one, okay? So this is the right hook. Posting about your products and services informs and educates your audience about what you offer. Not just the regular haircut and the foils, but the other things that you do, the specialties that you maybe do in the salon. And really focusing your copy on the benefits of how somebody will feel when they've used that product or had that service. And this could also be done via a customer testimonial. I know a lot of you guys that with um, shortcuts have loads and loads of amazing reviews. Take some of those reviews and turn them into a service focus or a product focus. Profile your work. 
obviously we need to keep doing that, but we need to interject it as one of the content pillars. Funny, in interject, um, inject humour into your feed. It's a perfect way to show your personality and your salon's personality. Um, and at the end of the day, the more authentic you are, the, the bigger your audience will grow. Um, provoke engagement and ask questions. Get to know your audience. Do some posts that are about them and not about you. Um, yeah, so introducing the, your audience into a conversation by asking them a question. Um, we love to give our two cents worth when reading what other people have to say. So get the chatter going. And then your sales promotion. So whether if you've got promotions going at the moment, you want to be talking about that. If you've got last minute um, availability, you want to be talking about that. Um, you want to encourage your customers to follow you so that they can keep up to date with the latest promotion. So if you do something monthly or you do something every week, make sure that that is one of your content pillars. Okay. So what I would love you to do is to pick five or six of these and write them down. Um, I can send you, um, you know, I can send you information that I've just been talking about more details around each of these and cycle through them so that you're profiling your work, maybe every fifth or sixth photo. You're talking about yourself and a photo of yourself would be ideal every fifth or sixth photo. You're doing motivational, inspirational quotes every fifth or sixth. So you can see that that will create a nice bit of variety in your feed, especially if you're posting every day. And maybe you don't want to post every day. Maybe you want to do five or six posts a week and you just cycle through these content pillars. So I'm hoping that this gives you a little bit of structure that you can put um, behind your social media strategy for all of you that are struggling to come up with content ideas. Okay, so now we get into the fun part. Um, I want to ask you a question. How would you like fresh content curated for your salon social media feed monthly? How would you like that to be provided to you on a platter using the content pillars that we've just talked about and providing you with some imagery that would um, help you be able to do that every single month. Can you give me a hands up or give me a little chat message if that is something that you would be interested in? I've got a couple of different places so I've got to go look here to find your, see your things. Okay, I'm getting lots of yeses. Awesome, that's really good. Okay, well, let me show you. I want to introduce you to my newest little baby um, and it's called Social Sorted. So with Social Sorted, you will never have to worry about what to post next. Every single month, you will receive a collection of eye-catching lifestyle images that we have had taken for you. You won't see them on any stock image libraries with gorgeously designed quotes specifically written for those content pillars that we've just gone through and for hair salons. So we really, we know hair salons. I mean, as a, being a hairdresser and a salon owner myself, I know how to talk to clients. So um, we've prepared for you images quotes and captions um, and we're going to give them to you every single month so that you don't have to think about what to post and everything is designed to engage your followers. Does that sound good? Okay, so here's how it works. <laughs> um, it's a membership. So you pay a monthly membership fee. I'll get to the price in a minute. First month is free, so keep listening. I want you to log in and, and create an account and try it out for a whole month for free and tell me what you think. Um, but every single month, if you're part of this membership, you will receive a fresh issue filled with brand new content. You will also receive tips and strategies. I'm going to show you the action plan that we're going to provide you every single month and we're going to take you on a journey um, and teach you bite size chunks of information to build out your social media strategy over the coming months. And we're also going to bring in experts to help us do that. We're also got a, an exclusive Facebook community where we're all going to hang out um, and share each other's wins and struggles and um, provide feedback to each other on our social media strategy. Okay, so I wanted to actually show you what it looks like inside the membership. So the website is called socialsorted.net. And once you've created an account, um, you'll be logged in. So I'm actually logged in here. If you're, if you're 
haven't created an account, you'll see a button up here will be register now. So come and have a look at um, this website and you'll see a bunch of information, a lot of it I'm sharing with you today. And then once you've created an account, you'll be able to see your issues. So the very first issue is called social refresher. Um, if you've got past issues, so next month, this issue will move down to the bottom and we'll provide you with a brand new issue. You just click on read more to check it out. Inside you'll get a little blurb, a video from me, which will talk you through the action plan for the month. The action plan looks like this. So it's a strategic action plan and every single month you will get different activities and we'll be bringing in guest contributors. So there'll be a letter from me about what it's all about and what the focus is for the month with our social media. Um, the very, this very first one tells you how to use it, um, what you're going to get. I'm super excited to announce that in November, um, I'm bringing in a friend of mine, Christy Lawrence, and she is the creator and founder of the Plan app. And if you haven't checked it out, it is amazing. Um, she is going to come in and teach us how to use content pillars to plan our social media strategy you know, a month, a week, a month, or however far into the future to make sure that your grid looks gorgeous. Um, and you'll be able to use all of the content that you get in Social Sorted. You'll be able to put it straight into um, plan. So she is our guest um, contributor next month. So hang around for that one. How to use it. First thing you need to do is download this action plan and have a bit of a read. Um, then you'll be able to copy your images and your captions, which I'll show you in a sec. And the very first thing to do is join the Facebook group because we're going to be in there every single day. I will be coming in there um, and doing Q&As and having a chat to you guys as well. And then inside the action plan for this month are some further information about what we've talked about today in this webinar. More information about your customer avatar. So defining one single customer. This is one of my favorite activities of all. So taking the strategies we've talked about into the webinar, but breaking it down even a little bit further. Um, more into how you set up your profile. A, bit, a bigger checklist for how you put together your, um, your profile with some tips and some examples. And then activity number four is a bit more delving into your brand finding out um, types of things that you can talk about in posts about what excites you about your business, what do you want to get out of your social media, your values. Um, and it's you can just complete these all online or you can print them out and scribble all over them as well. So every single month you will get training as part of this um, membership and we will be doing masterclasses and webinars in the Facebook group as well. Plus, we give you all of the dates in October and all of the hashtags to use for those. So you don't have to think about it. You don't have to remember. And if you're using a planning and scheduling app, then you can plan and schedule these into the future. All right. Um, and then you get the good stuff. <laughs> so we have um, created for you 30 beautiful images. Um, we've done all of the hard works and bought the props and organized the photographer and bought that pizza and, you know, we had to eat it as part of the job um, to provide that for you. And we've also paired each of the images with captions. And you might notice that the captions are fill in the gap style captions so that you can customize them to suit yourself. Now, these have been written by professional copywriters and they are all designed to connect with your clients. So the first three posts are about days that are happening in the month. So we're in October, we've got World Food Day, we've got Mental Health Day, and we've got Halloween. Um, then you've got a bunch of photos which are a mixture of lifestyle. So we can talk here about October and it being spring or being fall, depending on where you are in the world. We've got salon images that have been taken in a salon, but they've been taken nice and tight. So you can use them and you can make these your own images. Um, we've got images of tools um, in the trade and we've got captions that that go with all of that. You know, you, team insights into somebody that does beautiful highlights, you know, thanking your clients, um, it's images for reminding people that they can book online and how to do that. We've had these beautiful images made for you. And if you find an image that you like, you just literally click to download it, whether you're on your phone or your 
computer um, and you will get the high res version of that. If I can open it up. I think it's coming. Hang on. Um, there you go. Now you can use this image on your for your social media. You could also use it on your email marketing if you wanted to, um, or even your website. So these images are yours to use royalty free. You don't have to tag us. You don't have to do anything. They're yours to use. The captions are yours to make your own as well. So there you go. Um, you know, I've got some cute little things made up here, all specifically for salons, tools, um, some words, so personal insights, promos. You can see here that we've used the content pillars and we've provided you with um, a variety of posts throughout the 30 posts to be able to do that, a team insight. And here you can fill it in. So this gives you an example. Have you met the gorgeous or quirky or talented or lovable Joe <laughs> before? No, well, let me tell you, let me introduce you because um, if they aren't in your life, you, you need that needs to change. You know, Joe joined the team as a fresh fresh faced apprentice, a stylist, a colorist, whatever it might be. And this will help you create a caption that really, really works. And this image is about, um, you know, traveling in one of the places that maybe one of your team members has been to. But if you've got a photo of your team member, you can just take the caption and add that to your own image. So these don't have to go together. You can mix and match. You, you might just like the captions. You might just like the images, okay? Um, and you won't like them all. So hopefully there's a selection in here that you will like. So, you know, the, here we can be talking about, you know, having a beautiful massage at the salon and how amazing that feels. That Those type of posts will provoke emotion and make people really connect with you guys as a brand. And then down the bottom, there are six motivational and funny and inspirational quotes and they are all hair related so I have expensive habits and being a blonde is one of them. Um, we've given you also a light and a dark version of each of these so depending on what your feed is looking like you can choose to download that and then we've also added um, quotes in that. Good hair doesn't have to stay home on a Friday sorry I can't hear you over the volume of my hair. Um, Etc. So you can down, you can hit download all, and you will get a zip um, file which has all of the images and all of the captions in a word format, plus the action plan in a PDF. Or you can just download all the images, or you can just download all the captions, or you can do them one by one as you go. And literally from your mobile phone, and we've tested and practiced this as putting it all together, you will be able to. Um, you know, copy and go straight into Instagram in a matter of a couple of minutes and just tweak your caption and then your post is done. Okay. So that's um, how it works. Um, every single month will be a different topic. So we'll be covering things like hashtags. We'll be covering things about sponsored posts. Um, next month is going to be all around um, more information around content pillars and planning into the future. And so Christy's coming in to talk about that. We'll be bringing in some salon owners that are killing it with their before and after selfies. And we'll be, you know, sourcing how you get the good ring lights and, you know, sharing all of those tips and tricks around how to get good hair photos in the salon. We'll also be teaching you how to get great photos of your team, all of those kind of things. So over the month, we're going to give you bite sized chunks of information. So that's what it looks like inside. And you might have seen up the top here that the doors are only open for 13 days. So I'm not making this open forever. Um, in the next <clears throat> 13 days, you can sign up for free um, and you will get everything that I've just shown you for free. And if you decide to continue on, you can, um, you'll can you be subscribing from um, November moving forward. And I'm not taking in any more registrations this year because we want to look after the people that sign up um, in the Facebook group and give you VIP attention. So I've just got a couple more slides and then I'm sure you've got a bunch of questions. So fire them off at me and I'll be there in a sec to answer them all. So with Social Sorted, you will be able to get control over your social media strategy. We're going to provide the strategy for you, plus the content and the tools for you to execute. Um, we like to think of it as like the Netflix for your social media. So you will be able to keep your posts consistent without spending hours every week. You'll be able to break up those gorgeous hair pics with compelling posts around your brand, your team and your vision. Um, and there's an example there of how you would interject the content from the social sorted membership with your own imagery. 
Um, you'll drive engagement and convert followers into bookings because the copy will help you convert and you'll learn the latest social media strategies and tactics. So we're going to bring in the experts. We're going to keep you up to date with all the little things that you need to know in this membership um, as they come to light. Plus, you get bonus content. So masterclasses, live trainings, guest contributors, um, feedback and support in the Facebook group. Um, we really want to connect with you in there. Plus bonus content. So there'll be some times where we give you some story templates or we maybe give you some captions or some questions or some tips around how you can do stories or Instagram lives or, um, you know, all of those kind of things. So you get a lot. We're going to pack this membership with so much value. And we want you to try it for free because I want you to be sure that it's something that's going to work for you and in your business. Um, and there is no strings attached. You can have this month's content on me. And if you decide at the end of it that it's not for you, um, then that's absolutely fine. Um, but I'm, I know you're going to love it. <laughs> Okay, so the doors are open now. So you guys are the first people in the world to find out about socialsorted.net. So you can jump onto the membership and you can sign up. You will have to put in your credit card, but you won't be charged. You will not be charged until the 1st of November when, the, um, when your free trial ends. So you have from now until um, the 7th of October to sign up and you don't need to pay anything until the 1st of November. And it's very, very affordable, guys. And I'm going to say that I don't think it's going to be this cheap again, which is why I'm only opening it up for 13 days. If you jump in now and you commit to subscribing, then you will never pay anything more than 27 US a month, month to month, no lock-in contract, or 297 for a whole year. So you will get one month free plus 12 issues. So you will literally get 13 months worth of images and captions and training for 297 USD. Like it is crazy when I say that out loud that the price is so crazy, right? When you think about if you go to look for a stock image or buy a stock image, minimum $20 for one image, a professional copywriter costs literally hundreds um, per hour. Um, so this is like having your own social media manager without all of the costs. So I could see a real disconnect between salons struggling to do it all themselves and a social media manager or an agency charging hundreds of dollars um, and, and not getting the results as well. So I feel like that this social sorted is a middle ground. It, it is your strategic plan um, that you still have to execute. And it is important that you or your team do it because nobody else knows your brand like you do, okay? So that's it. I think it's an absolute bargain. And I would love to know now, I'm going to jump into the questions to see, I'd love to know what you think um, and if you've got any questions and tell me, are you going to jump in and give it a go um, and tell me what you think? So let me see if I can figure this out. Amazing save would save me hours. Cool, very keen. Yes, yes, awesome. All our salons will have the same content. Well, that's a good point, okay? So that is a good point. It's not likely that any of you actually share clientele that is on this um, uh, webinar today for a one, right? So it's not likely that a client follows lots of salons on social media. They generally follow theirs or, um, you know, all their friends. Um, and two, it's inspiration. It's not, not everybody is going to take the photo and the caption straight as it is. You're going to take it and you're going to go, oh, yes, I like this sentence or it will invoke uh, inspiration in your own conversation in your brain to create your own caption. So that won't happen. I have seen something like this in another industry um, where you would think that that would happen, but it doesn't happen. The internet and Instagram is a very, very big place. So not likely that that will happen. But you know, that, that's, a, that's a, good, um, a good thought. Will videos optimize Instagram posts or just photos? Absolutely. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, videos as well. Um, IGTV, <laughs> we'll be definitely doing a month or two on IGTV and how you can use that. Joe, it's very hair focused. It is. Um, we're 
starting with hair because this is brand brand new um, the plan is to create a spa beauty version as well um, assuming that it goes well and everybody loves it I would still say that you would get some value from it guys it's like seriously if you get one caption and one quote it is worth what you pay for this membership plus the training okay um, you know, it, it really, really is. You're not going to use them all. I would say that the captions would be able to be modified. You just need to change the service names, etc. But I have, like you guys should do, um, focused on one particular client avatar to launch social social sorted for this very first time. But stay tuned because it's, we've got big plans. Um, you think it looks fab? Great. Um, do the captions and contents change every month, every single month? Yep, totally fresh. And I will add that you can go back to previous months um, and you can, you know, you can download them and you can stockpile them, okay? So maybe um, you didn't get a lot of time in October and you only used three or four posts and then in November you like 10 or 11 of them and you come back to October and use some of the October ones, totally fine. It's all there for you. And as long as you've paid the monthly membership or the year, you have access to that. Um, we don't have any beauty quotes yet, but you know what we could, we, you know, we could add that. I don't, I mean, it really wouldn't be a big deal if you're interested and you want to join in, then, you know, I think we can add that the team will say, don't keep promising all these extra things, Joe, but you know, I think we could do that. Um, what about Facebook posts? Same thing. You can use these posts in Facebook as well as Instagram. They're totally transferable. You can use them, um, you know, on any platform, really. Graham signed up. Yo, you. Thank you, Graham. Welcome. So excited. Make sure you jump into the Facebook group so that I can um, see all your gorgeous faces. Um, Kirsten, you're going to join up. You love it. Awesome. That's great. Are you going to send the link? Well, you literally just got to go to socialsorter.net. But yes, after the webinar, um, in fact, a launch email was going out tomorrow because I promised you guys on the webinar that you would be the first to find out and get in because these we want limited numbers, okay? This is not, um, don't want this to be huge. Um, I want to give you guys really, really good value. Uh, yes, the content and captions are going to change. Um, you've paid anywhere from 150 to 300 per week for a social media manager, Kirsten. Wow. Yeah. So it's exceptional value. Thank you. I really wanted to do that. I wanted to provide you with amazing value that you just, you know, was a no brainer. What format do the captions download in? Um, they download in Word. Um, we can make them available in other formats. Um, if you use a scheduling program, you can also just copy and paste straight from the browser as well. Um, you can do that. Is the available uh, webinar available to show your partner? Yes, we will be sending out a link to the webinar so you can re-watch it. Um, and you're happy, you're happy to join um, and you're going to convert some of the content to beauty. That's great. Oh, I'm really excited that you beauty guys are just as interested as the hair guys. Um, we started there just because we wanted to pick one place to start, but it is very easy for us to adapt this and make it beauty focused as well. Um, yes, you can copy them straight um, from your clipboard. That's right. Perfect. And you're signing up today. Yay. Awesome. Any more questions, guys? You guys have been the best. I hope that you got value and I want to give you more value in the social sorted membership. Um, so jump in there and try it out and jump into the Facebook group. Um, Channing will be in the Facebook group. He's our community manager who's been working with me on this project uh, as well as the team from Shortcut. So big shout out to everybody um, that's helped pull this all together for you guys. I was really desperate. I wanted to get it to you for October so that you could get the, the most out of it in this um, time frame between now and Christmas. And, you know, November's going to be... Um, particularly uh, good as well um, with the plan app coming in to chat to us. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to love you and leave you. Finish off my cup of tea. I finished within the hour, so I'm really, really pleased about that. I appreciate you so much for giving me your time today and I really, really welcome your feedback and look forward to connecting with more of you inside um, Social Sorted. So have an awesome Tuesday and I'll talk with you soon.